Hi mom. So basically, today's video, we're doing another sit down and talk video. We are doing a story time. And let me just say, it is a story. So how I remembered this story, I should probably let you know. So you know, like it's legit 100% true. I'm not, you. y'all know, I'm 100% real with you guys all the time. I'm just, that's me. Um, but anyways, so basically, I was talking to my friend Tori, and I was like, I don't know what to film. And she's like, why don't you tell the story of the night we almost died? Like, this was traumatic. So, let's just get into the story, I guess. Okay, so... Me and my friends, we had all planned that we were all gonna spend the night at my friend Amari's house. And she, like, we were staying in a tent, so it was, like, super fun. Like, we had this whole thing planned out, right? And it, it was pretty fun. And as the night progressed, things kept happening that were, like, scary. So, it started off, it was a good time. We were just, like, listening to music, all this stuff. And then the first thing happened, so... <laughs> Which, thinking back, like, we we're all, we all started laughing, that's why. But it's honestly, it, it it's scary, but it's funny. So, basically, we wanted to have s'mores in, like, a campfire. So we had, before we set up the chairs, because we didn't know what was going to happen with the flame. So, I'm pretty sure her brothers, her brother and one of her brother's friends... Uh, they were in charge of like putting the gas on the fire and they put like we were right there like they put a normal amount like not even a lot at all like it was barely even like wet from the gasoline like it's not like there was a lot or anything and her dad went to light up the fire and the whole thing like shot like it was huge and it like it didn't even go up it went like over straight to him and so then he legit like caught, like had to roll down the hill like it was scary um which we we all felt bad because like <laughs> we were like awkwardly laughing because it's like I don't know like I'm just laughing like the most awkward times like ever so that happened and it was it was it was an event we'll just leave it at that okay so that was the first scary thing then we're just like so we made s'mores and stuff and we're just sitting around the fire and all of a sudden this random number texted my friend a message or it was on snapchat actually now that i think about it yeah and this like random number like texted her and a random person texted her nobody knew like who this person was nothing and like, okay, so where my friend lived, there were, it was just three houses, and then there was, like, a really wide street on all the sides, so there really wasn't that many people, like, around, and the person's profile picture was, like, not somebody anybody recognized, like, we, and, like, on Snap Map, you, like, you can see, like, where people are, which I personally don't know Snapchat, but anyways whatever and they were like right near us which we looked around we're like okay it's really weird Amari is like one of your neighbors and she's like no like I don't know this person like and I'm not crying I literally have like an eye crust it's really cute anyways so that happened and so we were like looking around like what is going on that's actually so scary and that's when we all started to get kind of scared like we definitely knew there was something pretty shady going on and yeah so then the night progressed on uh we hung out inside for a little bit and then uh we got kicked out and we were like oh it was dark out at that point so like not kicked out like oh you're in trouble like kicked out like we got um like her mom told us hey you should probably go outside like sleep in the tent because it's getting late and we're like okay so we went outside and we were sitting in the tent to like hang out for a little bit and we decided we were going to play dark tag or dark hide and seek. It was kind of like a combination. Um, and we started playing and it was me and my friend Toddy 
and then it was my friend Tori and my friend Amari and then two of her brothers but the brothers ended up just like quitting midway like the second round which is when all this creepy stuff started happening so the brothers quit like went inside so it was just us four and me and Toddy were the ones seeking and Tor Tori and Amari were like hiding and so we went to go find them and we could not find them like we could hear them and every place we heard them we were looking so we were like okay like it's just hide and seek though so we really didn't think much of it but at the same time I think we were a little bit anxious because it was dark out and it was kind of like in the woods almost so we were like something scary could have like happen and we're like sitting here we literally started crying because we were like at this point this was about I'd say we had been looking for them at this point for a solid hour and it got to the point where we started like crying and then we thought oh there's this church across the sh or it, like it's not across the street it's literally in her backyard um but we're not supposed to we weren't gonna like trespass and we said that was out of the boundaries but we like how they are like they would just like joke around and like do like go somewhere else um so I was like, and I knew like my parents, they're not strict, but they're strict on some things. So I was like, I was like, Toddy, my mom's not going to let me go because it is kind of like out of the way. And she's like, okay, that's fine. And so I was like, I'll just stay and like, look for them here. Like it's whatever. And I could hear their voices coming from like these, like, it was like a mini like strip of woods and I could hear their voice. So I was like going in there and trying to find them. And they were not there like I heard their voices and then um and then I saw them like run and I was like okay that's kind of weird and I was like I found you like and I was got toddy like hey I found them and they kept running and I was like okay maybe they're running from something like kind of joking around and then kind of serious just like trying to act like I wasn't scared and so then at this point we told them we're like hey guys game over like it's kind of, we're kind of getting a little bit scared and they all got mad at me because they were like, why are you like, <laughs> it's a whole thing at a past sleepover that we had. And, and so Toddy, Toddy is like the glue of the group. Like we would all get in physical fights every single day if it weren't for her. So she was like, nah, like it is actually kind of getting a little bit shady. Like we should just stop this round or if you guys want to keep playing but like we need to like pause like we're getting scared and so like we kept saying this to them like over and over again kept repeating hey guys we really are done with game like we're not joking like legit we're done um and they never like came out and so that's when we really started to get like actually like shaking crying scared um, like every single time we would hear a sound we would like jump really hard or like even like scream like it was scary so then it took about like I'd say Like eight minutes kind of an exact number, but it's not really it's just like not quite ten not quite five, you know, so it was like seven or eight minutes and uh, Toddy came back or Toddy went back to the church like hey, they're probably still up here They just didn't whatever I was like, yeah, I saw them running. And she came back with them, but I was like, I saw them running that way. And so it was kind of scary. And we were like, well, it's not like they have like magic powers or anything. Like, this isn't like a, oh my gosh. Like, it's just a lot of scary stuff did happen that night. So I was like, yeah. But anyways, okay. So then it's a while later, but it was still pretty close. And so... Basically, um, at our friend's house, we went to go use the bathroom and somebody saw like a bug or something on the floor and I'm terrified of bugs and a lot of my friends are. So <laughs> we got scared and they had this like shed that was like off in the corner. So then we would just like took turns and went to the bathroom behind the shed, whatever. So I got back there and it was just kind of... It wasn't like scary scary but it was like I was still like uneasy from that like hide and seek so I like went to the bathroom whatever and like I was like wait how am I gonna wash my hands and I remembered I had hand sanitizer in my bag 
So I left the little group, went like back to the tent. Like there, this wasn't like a huge area, but it was like decently big. And so I like went, I grabbed my hand sanitizer out of my bag. I was like, hey, you guys probably need this, don't you? And they were like, yeah, good thinking. Um, but anyways, little joy moment. So I was like walking back, like, or walking to the tent to go grab this. And I kept like hearing stuff and like stuff was hitting the tent. And I was like, oh, it's probably branches. Like I was scared, but I was trying to play it off, if I'm being honest. But it was like, like something kept hitting the tent. And I was like, oh, it could be them just like messing around, whatever. So anyways, got the hand sanitizer, whatever. And we went back inside. I don't remember what we went in to grab. I think it might have been, oh, it was an iPad that like her family shares. And so we were like gonna, we were watching stuff on that. And this is where it gets really, really, really scary. Well, like there was parts that were already scary to me. Like, so we're just chilling in the tent. We were hanging out for like a long time. We kept like taking turns playing like songs. We were getting in our feelings, which I don't normally do. So for me, that was actually pretty fun. And then we like cheered ourselves up, I guess, by listening to like some of the old theme songs from our like childhood I guess and we were like jamming out and then like there would be like in between songs it would like load and so it was like in between two songs and we decided to shut off the music because we thought it was something with the uh um like iPad and we kept hearing this like sound of like almost like a rustling sound, but this, the, it was at least like three in the morning at this point. Like it was, it was like almost like a dog, like walking, like, cause they're like a heavy dog, like walking around, but then they were like metal hitting each other, like combined. It was really scary. And I was like, oh, that's my neighbors. They do their yard work in at like really like three, four in the morning. So that way nobody bothers them, which I was like, oh, that's kind of smart. But like thinking, like I was like starting to think in my head, I didn't actually say anything to them. So if you guys are watching this video, this is what I was thinking. In my head, I was like, maybe they're related because there was being some like scary stuff happening. And we like ignored it, whatever. Um, and then we, and then scary stuff stopped happening for about two hours. Like we made up a whole dance routine that we were gonna film in the morning and like all that. I think we went outside for a little bit and hung out like outside of the tent, like just like right outside, just cause it got kind of hot in the tent. And then we went back inside and started getting ready for bed. Well, we were just like laying in bed, like talking and I was watching TV, if I'm being honest. And uh, they were like, and we were like talking and then all of a sudden, we still to this day don't know what it was this we it was we heard a ton of people like walking around not like okay so keep in mind this was at like four or five in the morning so it was like just starting like it was light out but that was just because it was like early in the morning like it wasn't because like like it was still night technically but it was like summer, so it gets light out faster, blah, 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 whatever. So it was really early in the morning and we heard like sirens and then we heard something run down her hill and we were all like, guys, shut up, like be dead silent. Do not let anybody know that we are in here because there could very likely be like some criminal, some killer outside, like walking around and we just heard like walking and then it stopped and we're like okay so everything must be fine right and then we kind of started talking again or we didn't start talking again so we were kind of just like that was really scary but we were like that was really scary that was really scary yeah and then we kind of were like oh maybe we should kind of try and go to sleep whatever so we started falling asleep and then the walking started happening again and this is when we got really scared. So we all like huddled together, like grouped together because like obviously that was like really scary. And then something was hurled 
at our tent. Like you could see kind of that there was something obviously very heavy on the top of the tent because it was like going like it was curving down the bottom of the tent and yeah it was and then a little while after so we got like really scared and we were like I don't want to go to sleep I don't want to go to sleep and I don't remember falling asleep but eventually we did fall asleep got about an hour of sleep and then it started raining so it was raining and we went inside and went to sleep and then woke up then scary stuff ended but yeah so this story really had no conclusion but I thought it was kind of interesting at least I did so I that's that's the story um comment of the day comment down below what you think hit our tent or any theories you have about it because we legit to this day don't know it is like at the end of this summer so that was like a decent like it was a decade ago no I'm just kidding so that was like a while ago. So that's really, really creepy. <laughs> but yeah, that was a creepy story. Probably should have saved that for like October when I didn't know what to post. But I didn't know what to post today either. So it's fine. So please like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, comment down below your theories, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Stay trippy.